Hello everyone, welcome to another fantasy match review for the game between New Zealand and Ireland. Finally, the luck and the drop catches were away. Actually, there were drop catches even in the last game, but yeah, luckily they didn't hurt us as much as the calls that we took managed to take enough of their chances. And this, this these two set of games is going to be very, very important because practically both teams need to win their games to get through to the next stage. And we have Nikhil Bhai with us to tell you who is going to win both these games and what does he feel about them. Absolutely. Thanks as always for having me. As I said, form se not play with the form. If you form with the form, then the form is also with us. So, good to have that uh, very good game uh, in as well. Grand League hmm. also work. So, again, the point is logic. It will never go, it will never go. So, if you think it's good that it's going to go, तो जब नहीं अच्छा लगेगा तभी भी मुस्कुरा के एक्सेप्ट करके yeah, आगे बढ़ना तो इट्स हां क्योंकि इट्स पार्ट ऑफ द गेम यू नोबडी विंस एवरी गेम इन टर्म्स ऑफ बिग तो लेट्स कीप ट्राइंग यस एब्सोल्युटली सो फर्स्ट अप लेट्स लुक एट वेन्यू कंडीशंस फॉर एडलेड So at Adelaide, first up regarding the weather, we are expecting it to be clear, but even Sydney was supposed to be clear and from nowhere it started to rain, so we cannot say too much about that. As far as dimensions are concerned, this is similar to Sydney, which is again short, shorter square and straight is longer. So yes, that is pretty much similar and we saw that many of the batters tried to tackle those shorter boundaries and that will bring a lot of spinners into the game in terms of maybe yes. higher economy but more wicket taking opportunity. Absolutely, as we have said before, Adelaide and Sydney are probably the two venues where you see a lot of runs being scored on an average. Uh, hmm. So, conditions though can change that. In the first game, we saw the ball was doing a bit. So, this is going to be the first game. So, be careful of that. Conditions will dictate what are the kind of play players you pick. But uske alawa, it should not change. Uh, you should still get a good value for your uh, shots. If you play them right off, you should get a lot of weakness as well. So, balance bana ke chalna. Or as a game, it's very easy to miss out because two strong teams playing two slightly weaker teams. If you get that fourth mm-hmm. player or the third player wrong, or even the guy who's taking the wickets wrong, you could still out of it. Be out of it. Invest accordingly. Yes, absolutely. We mentioned that the Pakistan-South Africa game will be good to invest in because there were a lot of players who had a scoring opportunity in terms of points. And we saw that many players edged each other out of the dream team just by a few points. Yeah. So that keeps up the competitiveness in high, highly competitive games. But when you feel even in the slightest manner that the game would be one-sided, it means that it's time for you to push more towards your mini GLs and Grand Leagues. Yes. So keep that in mind. And now let's look at what our base team is. But before we get to the base team, we hope all of you are actively participating in the leaderboard. So ensure that you do that, make multiple teams and stand your best chance to win the speaker as well as a lot of other rewards in terms of the car, the bike. So make sure that you participate as much as you can. Bilkul, the base team is working. Keep doing those small, small rotations, captain by captain, one player here and there. And who knows, you could win the board everywhere. Yes, absolutely. So let's see what base team is in store for you. So this is the base team that we have right up for the New Zealand game. And you can see we have gone with one keep. He's muted oh. himself. Oh, ah, yeah. Good. Okay, yeah. So the kind of... Yes, so what I was saying is that as far as the keeper is concerned, we have gone with Conway. Tucker is also in very good form, but we are obviously going because we are obviously going with Conway because we don't experience expect him to have as many struggles versus Tucker, who does play one or two rash shots up front. So maybe he can give you his wicket. And with Ireland, we have gone more bowling heavy because we expect them to get more opportunity through the game. Bilkul, so ek sidha sidha logic yahan pe hai ki agar aapko lagta hai ki New Zealand pehle bowling kar rahi hai. So, Ireland the bowlers game mein nahi rahenge. So, you can drop the bowlers and take all all rounders from Ireland and also take Tucker. It's a call that you can take for now with one balance, assuming this team can still work if uh, Ireland are bowling first. So, that is the logic there. Or, Bilkul Tucker, your team may Bilkul or something, there is no doubt. 
Yes, absolutely. And then when we go downward here in the in the all rounders, uh, we have gone with Mitchell Santner and Garrett Delaney. Now Delaney again has been getting good amount of opportunity with the ball, and not too many left handers except for the opener for New Zealand. So unless you see Conway setting in and playing a long innings, we feel like again Delaney can be pretty much in the game. Like we mentioned, the dimensions can make it interesting for him too. Beautiful. Tab, dekhi jo team banayi hai. Ab setup dekhenge. Jaise maine kaha, it is balance, which is why you still have Glenn Phillips and George Stopper. Agar apko lagta hai ki chase ho jayega, New Zealand pehle batting karti hai, drop Phillips for Kane, straight swap hmm. there, and you could take any island batter. जो बाकी सब ग्रैंडली पिक्स है वैसे भी आयरलैंड के बैटिंग से दे आर बैटिंग तो यू कैन टेक यू यू थिंक इज गोइंग टू कम ऑफ ऑलराउंडर्स में सैटनर अगेन ही डजेंट माइंड बोलिंग टू लेफ्ट हैंडर्स पर यहाँ पे तो ही हैज प्लेंटी ऑफ राइट हैंडर्स टू गो आफ्टर होपफुली ही इज नॉट ऑलवेज डिफेंसिव एंड टेकिंग मोर देन वन वीक मे बी समे बट ये एज कम्पेयर टू अदर्स दीज टू आर पॉजिटिवली बेटर ऑप्शन और बोलर्स में तो ये पूरा गाँव है Yes, absolutely. So, like you can see in the bowlers, we have gone with all four of New Zealand's primary options yeah. and both of Ireland's primary options. Now, all of them have had a good performance at some point or the other. While when you look at the batting section of this team, Williamson also last game he got you a lot of points, but forty or forty. Yeah. So, would he want to accelerate more? Would it, does he have that sort of form on his side? Maybe not. Hence, we've opted for the bowlers because if they're going to bowl four overs each, and even if Like the odd differential. So in this case, you would say Locky and if Sodi are the differentials. If out of 24 balls, if they're able to get you two wickets in front of a weaker opponent, that would also be the job done. And absolutely. And here, the Adair to keep the simple reason is that he's still bowling those overs for you. Form is not there, but he's also bowled well and not taken wickets. And now he's not bowling well and not taking wickets. So you never know which Adair will turn up. So first hmm. bowling, at the same time, absolutely, you can keep your team there. Uh, अगर आप लगता है अडेर नहीं हमें बैरी के साथ जाना है तो यू कैन गो विद बैरी मैक आउट टू एंड इवन फियन है तो इट इज कम्प्लीटली योर कॉल हाउ यू सी द गेम पैनिंग आउट बट क्योंकि फर्स्ट गेम है आई फील दे माइट बी समथिंग इन द पिच फॉर बोलर्स राइट थ्रू तो मे बी यू वॉन्ट टू स्टिल हैव वन और टू ऑप्शन फ्रॉम द साइड बोलिंग सेकेंड इज वेल तो वैसे अपनी टीम बनाना एंड ये Yes, and the reason for backing Adair, even though he got hit, is we see we see this pattern that with experienced bowlers, even when they get hit, they yet get the opportunity. While you saw with Fionn, and he got hit for one or two in one or two yeah. overs, and then he was totally out of the attack. So that is the slight risk that you take with someone who is not as established within that team environment. Hence, we have backed the experienced players. Now let's see what Grand League options we have for this game. <laughs> So Nikhil, why who are your two Grand League picks for this game? Ha, huh. the first Grand League pick is Curtis Campbell. Uh, hmm. Not used well, I feel is much better. We've seen him do well. It is just very surprising how they just don't use him at all, and uh, they want to use Dockerell and others. So it is hmm. a fair call. I'm sure every team has their own logic. So not many will pick Curtis. I think he could be a very handy differential. Could score a lot of runs. Could take a lot of wickets as well. So he's your Grand League pick from Ireland. From New Zealand, I think uh, most of them are most of them are covered. There is this mm. one guy we haven't talked about yet, and that is Finn Allen. Uh, if Finn Allen can see through Joshua Little, I think he should have a good game. So mm. let's see how that goes. So yeah, these are my two picks for the day. Right, Finn Allen, very high on opportunity and good player of pace. So enough reason for you to pick him. My two Grand League picks for this game from Ireland, Harry Tector. I think he's a very good player, square of the wicket, and your square boundary should be able to support him unless he plays yep. a weird aerial shot up top. And from New Zealand, Ish Sodi, if he's bowling second for me, Grand League captaincy, vice captaincy material, because that time that that game does come where he'll take three or four wickets. So I'm hoping that this is that game. Bilkul, uh, we don't want him in the semi-finals or finals. Game. Yes, absolutely. So we hope that all of you have a great game. Do continue to like, comment, share, and we'll have the jersey giveaway in the next video. So ensure that you tune in for that. We hope that all of you have an amazing game. Let's keep trying, guys. Keep winning.